Hello, welcome to another video. We have a second order differential equation that looks quite innocent and um, there's always this temptation by students to want to solve this using the techniques they learned for first order differential equations, which would mean you can separate them because um, will it be correct for us to separate this and then integrate twice? Will we get the correct answer? Well, it will be the incorrect answer you would get if you do that because um, uh, it doesn't always work the way your intuition tells you it's going to work. So there's a method of solving um, this type of simple second order differential equations because they are separable. This is separable, but you can't just go ahead and use the same separable technique for second order. So we do what we call reduction of order. So we're going to change the second order differential equation into a first order differential equation and then do what we know how to do and then we can bring it back to what it is now. Let's get into it. So the first thing and the safest thing to do is to look for another function that represents what we know how to deal with. So we're going to say, let y prime be equal to v and let v be a function of x. Okay. And now I'm going to, or t or whatever your independent variable is. In this case, let it be a function of x. So um, I just want you, I, I'm writing x now. So you know that every differentiation or integration we're doing will be with respect to x. So if y prime is v of x, um, we can say then that y double prime will be the derivative of this, right? So I'm not going to write this anymore. So this is the derivative of this because this is, the, this is the derivative of this. So I can say at this moment that I can rewrite this expression we have here to look like this. I can say this is x multiplied by v prime minus v is equal to zero. That's it. See, if this x was not here, remember, we would have made our assumption that y is e to the rx, and then we solve it and we get our answers, which would be in terms of e to the x. But because there's an x here, it changes the whole dynamic, and that's why this is what we have. So for now, ignore this and assume that this is what you have as a differential equation and v is a function of x as stated here. So let's solve this. This is a separable differential equation. Clearly, it's a linear separable differential equation. And I'm going to write this in, an, in another way. Firstly, um, I'm going to divide everything by x so that what I have here will be v prime minus um, 1 over xv is equal to 0 divided by x, which is 0. Um, remember, in this case, we always assume that x is not equal to 0. That's why we were able to divide by x. So now, what can we do here? We can write this as dv dx minus um, v over x equals 0. So we can say here, dv dx is equal to v over x. Clearly, this is separable because I can bring the v here and take dx to this side. So what do I have? This implies that I have um, 1 over v dv will be equal to 1 over x dx. So if I integrate both sides, I'm going to have the integral of 1 over v dv will be equal to the integral of 1 over x dx. And what do I get? Here I get natural log of v is equal to the natural log of x. And remember, always add your plus c to the right hand side. Now to get v, we just raise both sides to power e. So we're going to have v equals e to the natural log of x. Let's just write it this way, um, plus c, which translates into v is equal to, this is going to be x times um, e to the c. Well, e to the c is a constant, so we can just say v is equal to, let's call it a, 
AX. So our V is AX, and remember what we said V was? V was a function of X and it was Y prime. So this is our Y prime. So we can clearly say that Y prime, therefore Y prime equals AX. Can you see how easy that is? Where A is a constant. Okay, so now, do you think you can solve this? Yes, we can, because if the derivative of a function is ax, what is the function? We know that y clearly is the integral of ax with respect to x. And what's that? If we integrate ax, well, this is the same thing. Let's put it here. We know that y will be equal to a times the integral of x dx which is equal to a times x squared over 2 plus c. Well, we can write this as a over 2 x squared plus c. Well, a over 2 is another constant. Let's call it c. Oh, there are two constants. <laughs> that's the y we were looking for, and that's our answer. So this method is called reduction of order. You just need to replace y prime with a variable and following the characteristic of the equation, you'll be able to, be, to find what v is. And after getting v as a function of x, you can then integrate that and then you get what you want. Never stop learning. Because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.